from a removable battery pack and goes up to around 20 miles an hour from what I saw. But depending on which country you're in, I think it also can go much faster than that. It's just restricted to that speed here in the UK. Now there are five speed settings which you can control with the controls on the left side of the bike, as well as buttons to control the lights and the horn, as well as controlling the color display. But the sheer lack of effort that I had to put into riding this bike, even on some pretty steep inclines, is just nuts. You can turn the assistance off completely if you really want to by setting it to zero. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but the power in this bike makes it perfect for commuting to work. Like instead of having to use a huge car, paying for fuel, insurance, parking, it all just adds up. In addition, this bike has adjustable front and rear suspension, which for me made it really, really comfortable to ride. Even big bumps just felt like they weren't there. Also, if you ever just walk with your bike, you can just push and hold a button and the motor then kicks in, which means even walking requires no effort. And I also found that it was a big help, particularly if you're going up a very big hill, trying to pull this heavy bike up that hill. Onto other things, the bike does come with a kickstand, which does seem to work very well. But being quite a big and heavy bike, it does feel like a nudge in the right direction could topple the bike over. Honestly, I couldn't get it to do that, but it's something that I'd probably watch out for. And another small issue I found was that 